Today I'm making a chicken tikka sandwich. It is simply the tastiest warm chicken sandwich you're going to make. To make this sandwich, I'm using chicken thighs that I've taken the skin off. When you're going to marinate any piece of meat, really you want to make sure that marinade gets deep inside and the best way to do this is pierce it with a fork. Grate a little bit of ginger and a little bit of garlic and that can go straight onto the chicken with a bit of lemon juice and just make sure it's all coated. Let's wash my hands. Just going to cover it with some cling and I'm going to leave it in the fridge for about 20 minutes as I make the rest of the marinade. Well, the first marinade is quite pure. It's just ginger, garlic, salt and lemon juice and it tenderizes the chicken a bit and it gets really deep into the kind of inner recesses of the meat. So it really helps flavor like every bite. I've got some Greek yogurt. I'm going to add in a little bit of tomato paste. So now I'm going to add my spices. We've got some ground cumin, got some paprika. Um, this is for color. So if you don't mind having a blonde chicken tikka, you can leave that out. And some chili powder, garam masala, some black pepper, some more lemon juice. And to bring it all together, some more ginger and garlic. Scrape all that in. And then just a little bit of oil and give that all a stir. Okay, so the marinade's done. I'm going to get the chicken out of the fridge. It's been in there for about 20 minutes and it's just given that first marinade enough time to get into the flesh of the chicken. So that just goes on top. Get it coated on both sides. Recover it and back in the fridge. So when you're ready to cook, you put the chicken in the oven and you roast it till it's almost done and then you take it out and finish it off on the barbecue just to get that lovely smoky char flavor. Even though the chicken's already cooked, all of this charring and the smokiness is really gonna infuse that chicken with that lovely barbecue flavor. I'm just gonna put the bread on to start warming through. So I'm gonna take that off. Chicken is done, it's got a beautiful char. I'll put it straight onto my board. I really like to kind of pull it apart so you have big chunks of unstructured pieces in the sandwich. So I'm going to butter just one side. So my tangy chutney has coriander, mint, lemon juice, a little bit of garlic and some pistachios to bring it all together because otherwise it's watery. And it just becomes a really fragrant, delicious, pesto-esque but not pesto sauce. And then we're going to build up. So we've got our lettuce, our tomatoes, our lovely chicken, lots of large chunky pieces. I'm going to put some red onions on top. Now, if you don't like raw red onions, leave it out. But I love raw red onions with tandoori food and chutneys. And I have to say, I think it looks really beautiful. It's warm, it's inviting, it's moist, and it's lunch. <laughs>